Hey guys, hope you're doing okay today. I'm gonna go into a review now of what pants are you wearing. I know it seems silly, but the reality is is that we have our belt, we have the items that go in our pockets, but what pockets are they going into? Um, there are normal jeans that work just fine, uh, but there's some other high-end options that you might find give you more options, um, give you more ability. Um, we're gonna be looking at Catanica products, uh, a set of their pants and shorts, go into some of the features, some of the good things, some of the bad things, not that there's many, and we'll talk about it coming right up. So here we have Catanica RSPs, their range pants. Um, made in the USA, which for me does mean something. I know for a lot of you it does as well. Um, on the side of the pants you have a normal pocket that's reinforced on the edge for your knife so it doesn't tear it apart. You have a very large rear pocket which goes pretty far down. Um, you also have a side pocket, not quite a cargo pocket, but it's rather large. I usually wear these at work so usually my tools are in here. Um, this is a reinforced pocket as well, um, again so it doesn't get tore apart. Uh, you have a zipper pocket, which is where my wallet usually rides, or my phone. Okay. Folding these over. You got your other side. On this side, we have the same as the other. You have a pocket here that's reinforced. Um, you also have a rear pocket as well, same as before. This is a little different. Um, you have the same kind of idea for your utility pocket here. But then you have three pen holders. Um, I find this very useful at work because I'm using a Sharpie and a pen quite a bit. Um, and inside of here you have a closed Velcroed cargo pocket, which also has some internal organization. And this is where I keep my um, IFAC add-on. Uh, besides that, basically what you're getting, I mean, if you look at all of the stitch lines throughout this thing, uh, you're, this is two pieces of fabric thick here. Um, you know, all these stitch lines here are all reinforced. So the idea is you have a pair of pants that's likely going to last forever. Um, your belt loops are very wide, very generous for thicker belts. Or just your normal belts. Um, and that's their pants. Uh, I've worn these now. These are a little bit over a year old. Um, so for being a year old and as much wear as they get during the week, they're doing pretty damn good. Now I did have a really nasty fall a little while ago and I tore out the panel on this knee. Um, so I did have to have this replaced. I sent it back to them. Um, they put a new panel in, uh, all, only thing I really paid for was shipping at a minimal charge. Um, they are expensive, so they are definitely an investment, I think. Um, but I also think they're an investment that's worth it, in my personal, humble opinion. Now, when I'm wearing these pants, I'm usually running this thing, which is my ankle rig. Um, with the shorts, you have to do something a little bit different. Uh, so I'm going to go into those right now. So these are the range shorts. Um, very similar features to the pants, some different. Um, they put the loops here for your pens on this side. You have that same zippered pocket here. On this side you have a cargo pocket but you actually have even more internal storage and organization. So if you look into this pocket, if you can see that, you'll see there's two elastic loops on either side. Okay, and also further down there's two there as well. So if you were going to the range, you could easily put two AR mags in that space right there. Um, something they have on these that they don't have on the pants, they have these D-rings, which I do wish they had on the pants. Both the pants and the shorts have this elastic pull if you want to tighten or give yourself a little more room, depending on what you're wearing, what you're doing. Um, but other than that, they're very similar. Um, same build quality. These shorts are probably two years old now, and I have no tears, 
no holes. I mean, they, they've worn great. If I have any complaint about these shorts is they're just a tad too short. Uh, I am a Sasquatch, so if I had my druthers, I'd rather have longer shorts. But other than that, I really don't have any complaints about them. And now I'm going to show you a special edition of their shorts that has another feature. So these are their co-branded SOE Strider shorts. This is a special edition that was done for SOE and Strider. Um, same features as the other shorts, one difference. This has that large button pocket that the pants have on this side. And as I said before, when I wear the pants, I usually wear, I always wear an ankle rig. The advantage of the shorts, not advantage, what we can do with the shorts instead of the ankle rig is a full-on trauma kit. This is a full NFAC, fully loaded trauma kit that does fit in these, this cargo pocket easily. So instead of wearing an ankle rig in this case, this is what I would wear. Um, in it, I've got tourniquets, two different styles of tourniquets, headlamp, uh, needle, um, nasal pharyngeal, compressed gauze, an Izzy, uh, chest seals, shears, down in here, this emergency blanket. So everything I need, more than what I actually have on my ankle rig, in my cargo pocket. So that's what I do during the summertime for my medical. So, same idea though, is that these are amazingly versatile shorts and pants. Um, they are not cheap, uh, but for the money, I think they're a great investment. So please take a look into them. That's Gitanica. Um, I wanna thank SOE for turning me on to these things because if it wasn't for John wearing them and showing them, I probably never would have heard of them. Um, and hopefully this information helps you out guys and gives you some ideas on what you can do with your own kit. And as always, have a great day.